Sun Glove, how are you doing? Clover, Sun Clover. Chicho, have you touched on the situation in Middle East yet? X has reports of Hamas rejecting talks officially. Hamas wasn't even invited to the talks, right? Not to legitimate talks. What, what talks, right? They invited them, but then before Hamas could even attend, uh, Netanyahu came out and said, oh, we want this now, we want this now, we want this now. There, look, you can't talk, negotiate with people that want to genocide you and are genociding you. Have, have you seen footage of what Israel has done to northern Gaza? Right? Have you seen videos of IDF Israelis? It's not just IDF. People have to appreciate that every adult in Israel has to serve in the IDF now. Right? They had a, the religious sect fanatics had an exemption that they didn't have to serve in the IDF. And the reason they didn't have to serve in the IDF, by the way, this is, again, look into this, uh, because they thought their bloodline was too valuable to be sacrificed for, for any of that sect to die. So they would never serve in the IDF, right? But now the Israeli courts, government has come on and said, no, everyone has to serve in the IDF. Why? Because they're running out of people, right? Because anyone with two brain cells to rub together israeli has already left the country and the ones that are left in there right are either totally clueless or hardcore fanatical zionists that want to commit genocide right or have you seen the videos of what idf soldiers were doing to palestinians and this is something that has been occurring for decades it's not recent since october 12th they were sodomizing them with objects murdering them torturing them raping them right israeli officials members of government have come out and said they should start executing palestinians in prison because they don't have enough beds to house all the palestinians they're getting right so what they've been doing in some of these torture centers concentration camp like execution chambers is tying Palestinians to beds and putting a diaper on them and just leaving them there right what the F right what people have to appreciate during World War two all those concentration camps that we know as concentration camps they were originally work camps right and then they started mass purging those camps because they were losing the war right so most of the purges executions tortures murders all the her most of the horrendous acts and there was a huge spike happened towards the end of world war ii where nazi germany didn't have enough resources to feed and monitor all those people that were holding in camps this is exactly what's going on with israel right now they economy is crumbling as it should people there's a huge exodus out of israel those who can leave a lot of israelis are dying or being maimed their 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 workforce has plum plummeted right a lot of businesses shut down there are 100,000 200,000 out of a population of 9 million used to be 200,000 internally displaced israelis right internally displaced israelis okay they have no prospect of their economy going up it's so bad the economy there intel networks last year came out and said they're going to build a 20 billion 25 billion dollar new facilities in israel to ramp up production production this year just two weeks ago intel networks came out and said intel uh uh, Intel came out, Intel Corp, I think they call them. Intel Corp came out and said, oh, we're financially pretty screwed. Their bonds took a 20 to 30% hit. Their stock is at like multi-year, multi-decade lows, right? Multi-year lows, let's say. I think it's like the last time was at trading like $18 or something like this. They're cutting their dividends. Intel, Israel, same deal. Israel has come out and said, we need to commit genocide and they are committing genocide 
how and the people arming them the united states and europe are in support of this genocide you, you can't say it any other way right they're facilitating this genocide now they're holding peace talks united states israel european nations are holding peace talks and they're telling hamas to come to the peace talks what peace talks that's not a peace talk that's hey we'll give your leadership a lot of money the way they did with fatah right you help us commit genocide on your people hamas is not going to buy into that they're they're look peace talks the united states have been trying to create a two-state solution for 40 years 50 years 60, 70 years right let's say since reagan right we should say by since carter really since carter they've been trying to create a two-state solution it's 40 45 years right 45 years what have they achieved so far absolutely nothing other than arming the living daylights out of israel and committing genocide slow motion genocide for 45 years which has kicked into high gear and the veil has been lifted on what the zionists are right what the zionists are and there is as far as i see it unfortunately they're the only peaceful uh resolution to this conflict is mass arrest of israeli leaders that are committing this genocide complete disarmament of the zionist state of israel all settlements out of palestinian territory okay and they all go back to israel and sort yourselves out okay all funding from western nations should cease immediately to Israel Israel if it wants to continue as apartheid state should be blockaded okay zero trade well I shouldn't say blockaded zero trade by any nation that has any morals whatsoever okay which is sort of sucks because what that means is a lot of those fanatic Zionists will leave Israel and unfortunately come to the Western world I personally don't want any more Zionists in my nation just the same way I don't want any Nazis in my nation right that's who they are that's who they are okay the the definition of appeasement during World War two was what was his name in the UK whatever they, they they give the example of he, he appeased the Germans by you know not standing by the red line when they went into Czechoslovakia and Poland and all this jazz appeased them appeased them appeased them anybody that negotiates with Zionist Israel and allows them to get away scot-free from committing genocide is appeasing the Zionist state the murderous genocidal Zionist state that didn't end well for the world when the British did it with Nazi Germany it's not going to end well uh, now that the Western world is doing it with Zionist Israel uh, unfortunately I don't see any other way out of this mess that the Western nations have, have put the world in I think we're going into a uh, long protracted war that is going to deplete the resources the energy the the economy just destroy nations the the path that israel has put the world on okay we can stop this today or right now western nations say all support for israel stops right now israel has to abide by the 1967 UN resolution all settlements must be vacated by Israelis and given back to the Palestinians and the borders of Palestine at least to the 1967 boundary must be recognized and as far as I'm concerned since Israel has committed genocide on the Palestinians 
and murdered so many of them, created so much misery, so much misery, like unforgivable what they have done, right? The borders should go back to 1948 lines and Israel must forfeit huge chunk of land that is conquered from 1948 to 1967 and all that land should be given back okay all that land should be given back and they have to pay retribution they have to pay um imbursements what do you, what do you call it what does germany pay israel for decades israel has to pay the palestinians they have to rebuild gaza okay that is the peace talk that that is the man I don't know. Uh, I hope someone, uh, I hope uh, that is the stance that uh, Hamas and the Palestinian organizations have because you cannot, you cannot allow a nation to do this to humanity. And they're doing it to humanity, not just Palestinians, by the way. Okay. Because in their doctrine, uh, anybody that is not Zionist is not human. And they will do it to me and you. You cannot allow monsters like that to get away with their atrocities. Because they'll come back and do it to you. Do it to your children. To, to, do it to future generations. Right? 